Hi. Uh, we have a 2015 uh, BMW 320i. I just want to show um, how to check the cam and current uh, correlation signals with the picoscope. Uh, well, I'm just using this car because it's a, it's a good running car. So, uh, in the past we had a few uh, N20 engines that wouldn't start and uh, we didn't have a, a good cam and crank correlation signals. Um, Alright, I'm, I'm just going to explain what I have here. The blue channel is the... The blue and green are going to be the camshaft signals. The red one is going to be uh, the crank position sensor. And I have my uh, picoscope already running. I'm just going to pause it right now. Just in case if uh, somebody needs a good cam and crank signal. I'm going to put a filter real quick. Okay, uh, let's do the green one. All right, I'm gonna put a ruler. On the uh, camshaft signals. Uh, right there okay that's gonna be uh, the sprocket gears um, uh, right here on this side like I said uh, this engine is in time we don't have any timing chain codes or uh, cam and crank correlation so it's only uh, six milliseconds okay so the way um, I'm gonna prove this I'm gonna prove my engine is in time it's gonna be with my uh, scanner I have my check on your light, but this is uh, some kind of uh, outside temperature sensor. Okay, let's. Uh, let's do a quick test. Uh, it's gonna be right here. Uh, digital motor electronics outside temperature sensor, electrical short circuit to be. Okay. Let's get back. Let's check drive.
Okay, so we don't have any uh, camshaft codes, so this engine is in time. Okay, uh, like I said, this is a quick video. I just want to share uh, cam and crank correlation signals for a BMW N20 engine. Uh, we specialize uh, on BMW repairs. Just give us a call 214 434 1070. Thanks.